Hey there, quirky people. The first two months of 2022 have been good enough with shows like Peacemaker, Boba Fett, Snowpiercer, and Raised by Wolves keeping us entertained. But the movie department has to get better as we haven't had any big hits so far. Box office has been down and out. It is in desperate need of cash influx as the 355, Moonfall, and Death on the Nile have all been mediocre duds. Uncharted seemed exciting, but one movie alone wasn't enough. But all that's done. So we've got to look at March now. It could actually turn out to be much better for us as there are quite a few interesting projects headed our way. So today, we're going to look at the amazing movies and TV shows coming out in March 2022. <laughs> to start things off, we have Against the Ice. I delivered back. Safe and sound. With or without you. Netflix will draw first blood by pushing the Game of Thrones star Nikolai Quarter Waldau into extreme conditions. He'll be starring alongside Joe Cole. The events of Against the Ice take place in the year 1909, where a Danish expedition sets out to disprove the United States' claim on Greenland. This unbelievable true story would give a perfect slow and steady start to the month on March 2nd. But if you're a kid or a teenager looking for some thrill, then this particular movie may not interest you. But I'm sure you'd like the other project Netflix will be offering us, which is He-Man and the Master of the Universe Season 2. Kevin Smith's Master of the Universe revelation made rounds all across the internet last year. While the series catered to adults, this new one is meant for children. It revisits the popular TV show from the 80s, re-imaging He-Man for a new generation of fans. If you've been fans of He-Man, then this particular show would interest you even if you're an adult. But the next project is going to attract moviegoers of all generations. I'm talking about The Batman. When that light hits the sky, it's not just a goal. Now this is a movie that everyone's most excited about. Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson worked really hard to get it done. Reports suggest that Reeves turned into a total perfectionist and brought the best out of all actors. His passion really shows in the trailers, as each and every frame of the film seems to be covered with the details for us to unpack. The Batman packs other exciting cast members as well. Jeffrey Wright is Jim Gordon. Colin Farrell is playing the Penguin, while Zoe Kravitz is Catwoman. But the one that we all have to look out for is Paul Dano, who is coming in as Edward Nashton, aka the Riddler. WB might be looking at the Batman as their ticket to return to the billion dollar club. It is an action-packed PG-13 movie that is ready to leave us stoked with its high-octane fight sequences and its thrilling Neuer-based story. It is almost three hours long and will hit theaters on March 4th. Netflix will follow it with The Adam Project. Take it easy. Ah! Or, you know, fall down and scream. Ryan Reynolds is coming up with yet another Netflix original on March 11th. His last feature turned out to be the biggest Netflix movie ever. And this one promises to be even more interesting as director Sean Levi has cooked up a time travel adventure. It features newcomer actor Walker Scobell. He and Ryan Reynolds play the same character, Adam Reed. Scobell's Adam will be 13 years old, while Reynolds' Adam will be from the future. Older Adam will come back to the past to solve a mystery surrounding his father, who is played by Mark Ruffalo. And we also have the likes of Zoe Saldana and Jennifer Garner in the movie. Catherine Keener is the antagonist. On the same day, Disney Plus is bringing us Turning Red. This animated feature will be about a 13-year-old girl named Mi Lee. She'd be torn between trying to be her mother's obedient daughter and managing the chaos of her youth. But this film will show us a crazy personification as when Mi gets too excited, she turns into a big red panda. It will be interesting to see how she learns to control this larger-than-life form of hers. The weekend from March 11 to 13 would be very exciting for Disney, as the kids are going to stream the heck out of this film. But another streaming option for this weekend would be Prime Videos, Upload Season 2. Hello, Nathan. 
Nathan. Welcome to Lakeview, you lucky duck. Yeah. Robbie Amell's upload did really well when it came out in 2020. It was well received by the fans and the critics. So, Amazon brightly renewed it for season two. It's a sci-fi story about a man who is able to choose his own afterlife after his untimely death. Now, without spoiling too much for those who haven't seen season one, it will be interesting to see what the second season of the show has to offer us. Then, Netflix is bringing us Rescued by Ruby. We all know Grant Gustin from The Flash, but this time, he plays a very different role. We'd see him posing as a state trooper who dreams of getting into the canine search and rescue unit. Directed by Kat Shea, the film is based on a true story where Gustin's character will team up with a naughty shelter pup named Ruby. All dog lovers could enjoy this one on March 11th. Following it will be the action-packed film Operation Fortune, Bruce de Guerre. As a private contractor, you possess a unique set of skills. Back in 2021, Guy Ritchie brought us Wrath of Man, which featured Jason Statham. And now, he and Statham are returning with another action thriller. It also includes Aubrey Plaza and Josh Hartnett. Here, Statham plays the MI6 agent, James Bond. Oh no, I mean he plays Orson Fortune, whose team takes the help of a big Hollywood star for an undercover mission. It hits theaters on March 18th. And on the same day, Netflix will offer us a Swedish action movie called Black Crab. Foreign language movies and series become worldwide sensations if they are actually good. So maybe this one could attract a lot of viewers, especially since it features Prometheus and Sherlock Holmes star Numi Rapace. It is set in a post-apocalyptic world where six soldiers lead a covert mission. Their goal is to transport a mysterious package across a frozen archipelago. It will be interesting to see who survives. Another survival quest of the month will be The Lost City. Now, prepare to die. There are just hundreds of snakes in this temple just waiting for us to show up. What? Why aren't they biting that guy? Shannon Tatum is starring alongside Sandra Bullock. And guess who's playing the villain here? It's none other than Daniel Radcliffe. Bullock will pose as the writer of an infamous novel called The Lost City. But then, Radcliffe's character will kidnap her and demand that she finds the treasure in the real Lost City. And to save her comes the cover model of her novel, Shannon Tatum. It'll be a fun adventure for us, as these two will try to survive in the jungle with no real skills to do that. Oh and yes, we've also got Brad Pitt to increase the fun. The Lost City arrives on March 25th. Then Netflix brings us Bridgerton Season 2. Dearest gentle reader, Did you miss me? If you didn't like Netflix's roster of March till now, then I bet this particular project will interest you. Season 1 came out back towards the very end of 2020 and grew in popularity almost instantaneously. And now, this period-based romantic family drama will return with its second season on March 25th. Let's see how the viewership number of Season 2 will compare with its predecessor. Last but not the least, we've got Moon Knight. Must be very difficult. The voice is in my mind, my in your head. The second last day of the month will bring us the first Disney Plus MCU series of the year, and it is certainly the most anticipated one as Marvel ventures into the supernatural with Oscar Isaac. He plays Mark Spector, who has a multiple personality disorder. This series is going to be extremely action packed and much more brutal than our usual MCU shows. Spectre and all his personalities will be caught up between a war of Egyptian gods and deities. So watch out for this one as it premieres on March 30th and will continue throughout April. Which of these movies and TV shows are you looking forward to the most? Let us know your preferences in the comments so we could come up with some more content based on them. Give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.